Welcome back to the Laurel Studios. Uh, you're welcome, my guys. Uh, we're going to be diving deep into uh, something juicy. We'll be creating a weather application using the Open Weather API. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple of things. Uh, let me quickly show you. Uh, that's uh, the screenshot of what we'll be creating. Uh, a master page and a detail. Uh, we'll be looking at the daily uh, weather details, uh, the weekly weather, and also we're going to share daily weather reports to friends uh, in other uh, social media application. The technologies that uh, we're going to be using in this application, uh, we'll be looking at the Android architecture uh, components. Uh, well, we're going to be talking about uh, material design, a lot of its architectural component, the MVVM pattern, the model view and the view model. Uh, we'll be looking at the room database. Uh, we'll be using retrofit uh, for network uh, calls, uh, for network communication. Uh, we'll be using Glide to load in images. I will be using Dagger 2 for dependency injection. I uh, will be also using the Android navigation to uh, navigate throughout different components in the application. We'll be using Burtonite uh, to undo our uh, view. And uh, we're actually going to be doing a lot of things in this application. Uh, it's uh, an advanced uh, level of uh, learning. And I uh, will implore you to stick by with uh, this uh, videos. Uh, that will be coming up uh, in order to uh, create this web application because we're going to be learning a lot of things. We're going to be learning advanced uh, Android uh, development. We'll be using Java as the programming language. In sub subsequent videos, uh, we'll be uh, diving deep into Kotlin. Uh, we could also uh, convert this to Kotlin if you desire. Uh, but we'll uh, actually be using Java uh, so we could uh, actually understand this and uh, at the same time, I would like you to follow along. So firstly, we'll head straight to the openweather.org where we have the, the web uh, the, the website. We'll be dealing with the APIs there. So I will implore you to take a look at this. I will be dealing with the current weather data uh, where we will we'll be forecasting for weekly and also for daily. And uh, we're also going to be using the UVI. If you should notice uh, from the diagram, we'll need the UVI. Uh, that's the UV index uh, of uh, the particular location that you actually are generating the weather reports. And uh, we, you, you need uh, the API key. So I will employ you to sign in, uh, generate your API key, and let's move along to create an awesome application. So I'll head straight to Android Studio. Well, I'm going to be starting a new project. Uh, up for the MT activity. Next, I'll call this. Uh, weather app and uh, it's actually going to be Java I've been doing a lot of Kotlin lately but I want us to uh, do Java now and uh, in this next video we'll be talking about lesson like uh, uh, an e-lesson uh, we're going to be using Kotlin strictly and uh, we'll go to finish up this uh, uh, setup uh, we'll, I'll just be setting up the dependencies uh, for us to actually uh, look at and uh, from there, we could, uh, we're good to go. So right in uh, the tree, I need to get where my project is actually sitting. I go to the home, you know, depends on where yours is. And uh, I'm actually uh, the weather app, so it's somewhere here. I have the weather app uh, right there. And uh, I will be uh, using something called the versions so i actually copy it from somewhere because it's quite a numerous so i might not have to start writing these uh from scratch so i'll copy the versions gradle file because i want to uh separate concerns uh based on uh the gradle dependencies so i'll move into my weather app in the top tier of uh your your, your file tree uh you're going to actually create uh a versions uh file so you call it versions.gradle. Uh, you could actually create a pure text, text document, but when you're saving it, save it as versions.gradle. And in this, I'm going to have uh, all versions that you actually going to be using in this application. So we'll get to look at it right in the Gradle script. If you notice, I have the versions.gradle over here. You could get to see it, how you're going to actually uh, uh, 
uh, categorize different uh, versions that you'll be using in your Android application. Uh, you point out as uh, the dev the versions. So we, here you could actually list out all versions of, uh, of dependencies you'll be using, the architectural component, the lifecycle, the app compact, material navigation, the legacy, the dagger, change, and so on. So you declare all versions here. Yeah? And if you have uh, a subset of uh, your, your dependence, probably you have something called support.annotation, or you have uh, the support.material, you get it, the support.design. So you can actually categorize it, but you need to declare the dev support as the first level. So after that, all other uh, dependencies declared here will actually follow suit with the dev the support. And don't forget, you need to actually call the depths dot support. That's what you'll be pointing at in your Gradle uh, file. So you could do that for other uh, category. We have the category for navigation. We have the category for room, for life cycle, for retrofit, for dagger. For Expresso, you get it because some of them have more than uh, you will be pointing at um, multiple dependencies based on Expresso or based on Daga or based on Retrofit, where you need to bring in uh, uh, the converter, you need to bring, bring in the JSON, you need to bring in the mock file. So, you need to actually categorize all this kind of uh, uh, dependencies. So, you get that done, and uh, you could even add the build versions the minimal SDK, the targeted SDK, and so on. So I would like you to go through this uh, versions uh, file, versions uh, Gradle file, and uh, get yourself used to the way you declare uh, dependencies in your version file. After that, I could uh, we'll get to look at the build Gradle. Now the build Gradle is just a simple build Gradle we all know. Now we have the compile options for Java Java version eight included. Now we need to do some little tweak here, uh, where I will need to bring in. Uh, the depths that we actually uh, wrote up. So first of all, I'll bring in a build script so that uh, we could have the build script for uh, cool. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to bring in uh, the compile SDK version they'll be using and the build tools. So that's actually going to point at the depths that uh, we have uh, the compile SDK over here, pointing at version 30 based on what we have in our dependencies. And at the same time, I'm going to actually uh, bring in uh, the default SDK, uh, which is the minimum and the target SDK. We're going to leave the version code and the version name as it is over here and uh, the application ID could change because uh, they uh, we need to follow what we add so let me just take away this what we had initially uh, okay all right that's fine now we need to bring in the dependency itself so let me quickly go through that uh, we need you need data binding and um, uh, you also need to bring in uh, the API key. So I'm going to actually show you that. Let's bring in data binding. You enable that to true. And uh, let me just copy in all the implementations that I'll be using in this application. So as to save a whole lot of time in typing. Okay, now I'll bring that in into our Android application over here paste that in as well so it's pointing at the depths as i've said which is in the versions file at the same time uh we need to declare the weather api key that's going to go into the graded or properties uh file graded or properties which is actually because uh i will employ you not to expose your api key you need to actually uh, bring that into your Gradle file so that uh, when uh, anybody is trying to reverse engineer your APK, this is not going to actually be exposed in any form. So now uh, you go back to your build Gradle to actually integrate uh, the API key uh, string. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to do that. Just a line of code uh, will get you done. In the build types for each of them, in the build types, each 
all right in here you need to call the build config field is a string value and you give it a constant called weather api key and it's going to point at the weather api key you created in the radio properties over here with api key you created so that's just it so after that you could sync your application and you get it ready to set up uh for this particular uh project so, uh, so i'll be sharing uh uh the, the versions file that i used and uh at the same time i will also be committing this uh to the first tree of uh the 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 repository so i'm actually going to start up a repository with uh, the 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 build files that I used so it depends on the version of uh, Gradu you are actually working with uh, so you're actually going to see everything in the versions of Gradu based on the versions that I actually use so you could tweak the versions based on your present uh, uh, Android Studio uh, setup so in the next video uh, we'll be looking at the layout file the menu the navigation the drawable and the values in this awesome application. Please don't go anywhere.